I made a few really long time prints in my life. I'm not really into long time 3D printing, but I made the vacuum cleaner for my CNC machine. I'm currently printing parts for the Dremel CNC that I'm selling on Tindy. There's also a 3D printed ukulele. Uh, I didn't share this project yet anywhere. If you know what this is, let me know in the comments. Yeah, almost. If you know what this is, let me know in the comments. But what's the problem with long time prints? They take quite a lot of time to print, usually. Uh, this pre printed ukulele took 46 hours to print. That's quite a lot. Sometimes I can't be at home all the time while this thing prints and I can't watch the printer. And because of that, sometimes when I get home, I see just spaghetti all over the printer and this is really not a funny thing. And today, I have this thing. This is a camera, but not just an IP camera. This thing has built-in USB port so that you can actually connect this to your printer and remotely control the printer settings. You can start printing, you can stop printing, and you can also see what's going on on the printer thanks to the camera. This thing is made by Creality and hopefully will help me with my long time prints. In this video, I will make a very simple review of this thing. We'll see how it works and if it's actually any useful, but let's start with the unboxing. So there is really not a lot of stuff in this kit. We have just two cables. One, the white one, is for powering the camera through this power supply, through this AC adapter. And the other one, the black cable, is so that we can connect this this thing. Oh, oh, here is a magnetic base. I didn't know about that. Uh, but this cable is so that we can connect this camera to the printer. Oh, and here is another thing that I just noticed. There is an SD card on the side of this camera, 8GB SD card. So I think this card is right here so that you can uh, print remotely from, from the phone. So if you would like to remotely start printing, it will most likely uh, take the G-code out of this card and not from the card that you have in the printer. Now let's connect that, I mean there's really not a lot of work, just two cables. Uh, and we'll take a look at the app and how to control this thing. The magnetic base of this camera is really really strong, it holds super well to the control box of the CR10 Mini. As for now I plug it to the CR10 Mini, but you can probably plug it to any 3D printer and especially to any Creality 3D printer, so Ender 3, CR10, CR10 Mini, any other CR10 printer will probably work great with this thing. Uh, and right now we have to install the app and here is a big problem, you can't just go to the Google Play or App Store and download the app for this camera. You need to download it from the QR code that is in the instruction right here and then I don't know what will happen so let's just follow the instruction. Setting all of that up wasn't really hard, I just tried a little bit different order because as always I don't follow the instructions so you should always follow the instruction because things are easier when you follow the instruction. So how to do this? You just need to connect to the Wi-Fi of this camera through the settings of your Wi-Fi of your phone. Then you need to go to this app, click this plus in the left right corner and choose to search. Not scan the QR code, this is a little bit more complicated, just click search. If you are already connected to the Wi-Fi of this camera, this app will detect this camera. Then you need to pass the password of your Wi-Fi, of your home Wi-Fi, so that the camera can connect to your Wi-Fi. And finally, Here's the live feed from the camera. As you can see, there is my printer. So now let's turn on the printer and let's see what we can do with this.
So far I'm really happy with how this thing works because it works really flawlessly like without any problems you can easily move the axis, you can home the printer, you can control the temperature of the nozzle uh, of the bed, you can see the temperature, you can turn on and off the fan, camera light feed also works without any problems, without any delays, that's also really cool. Uh, one thing to notice, in order to control any of the settings of the printer you need to click the connect button right here, without this it wouldn't work. So for example right now I can easily home the printer while being away from it, just like this. Uh, and what I want to test right now, there is an option to add new file to the SD card of this camera. So I will generate the G-code on my laptop, then I will send it to my smartphone and from the smartphone I will send it to the camera and I will start printing remotely. Of course you still need to turn on the printer with physical switch but I can easily ask my parents to do this and I can remotely start printing anything I want uh, even without having the G-code on the SD card already. So. Let's generate the G-Code and see if this option really works. Uh, so I download the G-Code from Google Drive to my phone and now I should simply just add it like this. Alright, so I can see it is loading. So let's click it. Click print. And as you can see The printer starts printing. <laughs> it really works fine. And right there you can also see the print process in percents, printing time and the temperatures. That's really nice. And some Chinese characters that I completely don't understand. Great work. So I'm currently in another room reading a book. Uh, and I don't have to go to see if everything is okay on the printer. I can just simply open the app and I see that the printer is working fine. I can control the settings of this thing and that is also really cool. Uh, the camera itself is not really that expensive and I think that this is a really great addition to any 3D printer. Uh, it is just cool to control it remotely and to be able to start printing remotely. Uh, but there is one thing, one important thing that I would complain about and that is the app for Android or iOS. Uh, you can't download it from the App Store or Google Play. You actually need to download the file of the app and then install it on your smartphone. And for that you need to open the developer settings on your device. That's really not hard to do, I already have opened developer settings before because I develop Android apps. And some people don't really feel comfortable with installing apps from Chinese manufacturers. There is also one thing that would be really useful and that would be the web interface so that we can open open uh, the camera view and control the printer on our laptop and send the G-code directly from the laptop to the camera that would be cool to have. Uh, so Creality, if you are watching this, please add this functionality to the camera. Overall, I'm super happy with this. It's not really that expensive and it's great addition. I will definitely use it with my 3D printer in the future. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions about this camera, leave them in the comments. If you would like to support my work, you can do that on Patreon. And if you like this video, give it a like. Thank you very much for watching. Keep making.